Welcome back to another edition of Ducato Mods. Today we're going to be running through how I changed these standard motorhome van tyres into these lovely chunky ones that you see now. Had a few hiccups along the way and I'm just going to go through the pros and the cons and whether it's worth it for you. So this is for the complete beginner who doesn't really know much about tyre pressures, profiles, whips, etc. Uh, disclaimer, check in your country. Uh, this is what it says in the UK. It says it's perfectly legal to use van tyres for motorhomes, but make sure you check in your country whether this is legal and pass an MOT. And we're going to run through all the basics now just to make sure you don't make any mistakes for your own Ducato van or motorhome. Okay, so we're going to go through the absolute basics. What the hell do all these numbers actually mean? Uh, if you're a complete newbie like me, then this will be really beneficial for you. So to start, we're going to go for the, the 215. Now that is the actual width of the tyre tread. Okay, so that is 21.5 centimetres, 215 mils. And then you've got the 70 afterwards that is the profile so that is the thickness from the actual tread to the actual the start of where the rim is uh, for this actual video we're gonna go from 70 to 80 mil so we're gonna be increasing the size by 10 centimeters uh, in total okay so we've done the actual the, the width we've done the the profile and then it's got that R15 now that is the size of my alloy uh, 15 inch alloy so that's nice and simple and then you can see there you've got the CP now that is camper van tires uh, camper van tires are actually a lot more sturdy on the sidewalls and can take a lot more PSI and they can just tolerate a bit more abuse on on the roads uh, I'm not upgrading to camper van tires I did say it is perfectly legal what I'm doing I just have to be careful Okay, now here is a, a tire load rating chart. I'll leave this in the in the link just so you can find your own uh, load rating. So on here, you can clearly see it says 109R. 109 gives me 1,030 kilograms load per wheel. So that is uh, just over 4,000 kilograms in total. And my Swift Select weighs, according to the manufacturers, 3,000 kilograms. So that should be plenty. Uh, it would be safe for this and lastly what is that strange letter after the 109 well that is the speed rating of the tires so for these tires it says r is 106 miles per hour i don't do more than 60 miles per hour ever uh, so these are completely within the the safe uh, parameters just for my own peace of mind i always know the exact weight of my motorhome so I took it to the local Weybridge. It cost 10 pounds, it took 10 minutes. And the, the actual weight, fully laden with a full water tank and all my holiday belongings, it was 2,950 kilograms. So that really helped me sort of clarify what, what tires I needed to buy. Here's the profile of the new chunky tires. Now you can see that the load rating is a lot lower, 102T. Okay, so here's the chart for that. 102T is 850 kilograms per tire. Times that by four is 3,400. So we're still within the safety parameters. Uh, I'm, I'm happy with that. And then the strange letter after the 102T is the speed rating once again. And these tires can apparently get up to 118 miles per hour. I'll be doing half of that. So I'm just going to show you the difference in the, in the profile. It's quite clear to see as we go in the actual size difference of what we've got. You can really see it's filled out the arches there an extra 10 centimeters, which is what I wanted. Now, as you can see here, guys, I've really pushed the, the limits of what I could have. I've got a gap of just under three centimeters because we increased the, the profile from 70 to, to 80. So uh, if you've got a Fiat Ducato, uh, I wouldn't recommend going any more than, than this. Now, for some reason on the, the Fiat Ducato, someone might be able to inform me why, but the, the arches on the back are so much smaller than the, the front ones. I mean, here we could have 
we could have gone even bigger, um, which would have been really cool just to fill in that arch more. Um, but obviously there's no room on the, on the rear arch. Um, one of the things I, I did try to measure is I put my wheel at, uh, at quarter lock and sort of semi lock as well, just to make sure to see where the tires went underneath the actual, the arches. Uh, worst case scenario is you buy the chunky tires and uh, they rub, which would be a nightmare. But hopefully if you follow my guidelines here, don't go bigger than 80 profile, you'll have no problems whatsoever. So what are the pros and cons of uh, upgrading your uh, motorhome tires to, to off-road ones? Well, I'm gonna start with the cons. For me, handling. Now the handling has become a little bit more spongy around corners because we've raised the profile the tires are a little bit more squishy uh, but we're not driving a race car so it doesn't bother me secondly as well uh, it's an absolute minefield to find the right weight load uh, whips etc it could easily go quite wrong also there's another con that actually these are designed more for off-road and not for uh, tarmac, it's quite rare I go on grass. It's only one of the campsites that are boggy. Let's go through the pros. Uh, for me personally, the ride is more comfortable because we've raised the profile. There is more shock absorbency in the, the tires. Uh, I'm running them at 55 PSI, um, but everyone can have a play around with them to their own comfort. Another pro for me, which is huge, is the additional clearance. Uh, I used to scuff my tow bar going up steep gradients. Now there is absolutely none of that, which is fantastic. Another pro for me, they just look good. They fill up the arches more, they look aggressive. It's exactly what I was looking for. Some people don't want to do it for aesthetics. Uh, I did. And for me, the final pro is when I do go to a campsite and it is boggy, I am there smirking away because I can just easily get out of a uh, tricky situations that are boggy that my previous tires couldn't so that's it for today guys hope you enjoyed uh seeing the pros and the cons of uh putting on these these chunky tires uh it wasn't simple a few little hiccups on the way don't forget to like and subscribe for for more mods my name's been travis this is Takato mods